I, I couldn't find joy in this, no matter how much everyone else found joy in it. Right. And when it's happening, when you have a job that you don't really like, you start indulging in all the accessories. And so you start sort of like offsetting the true unhappiness with like small little things that you think could make you happy. And the reality was I, I wasn't willing to do that. But the truth is um, those answers were so far away. I had no idea idea that they were actually in front of my eyes. I never played in the NBA. I don't have a PhD in exercise science from Stanford. And I would give all these reasons why I couldn't accept it. And he said to me, no, this is what you were worth to me. And so I finally accepted the money. And so when I look back, it was a very, very poignant moment in my life. I finally developed the methodology, uh, a, a expertise, um, a talent and something that I could monetize. And then shortly thereafter, I quit law and you know, I look back and I think I've lived the most unimaginable life. And I love that you brought in the patience because everybody wants everything to happen so fast that they're, they, they want to skip all the messy parts, but there is that mess, you know, there is that messy part of being patient and uh, judging yourself and saying, you know, I can't do this. It's like truly you have to lock into what you enjoy, no matter how silly it might sound to somebody else. And the joy is in that process. The joy is in finding discipline. The joy is in accepting the struggle. Right. Know, but, sometimes, but, but sometimes the growth is not measurable. And that's what for many people it is because the gym is an almost an easy place to show growth. Mm -hmm. I'm very sensitive to the process, but at the same time, it's very important to push someone to a point where they are challenged, but don't think something feels impossible. What does it mean to you to live a fearlessly authentic life? I, I think the idea of living a fearless life is impossible. Right. I think instead, I tell people to embrace the fact that there is uncertainty and there's fear and it's just the way it fucking is. Right. But that should not be the reason you don't move forward. The reality is to embrace the fact that you will feel tired and you will feel lost and you will grieve and you will be you will have fear and you will do all those things. But you still got to move forward.